Hi friends, I am giddy. I feel like today's Christmas. I've been looking forward to this video all week because today I get to do something I've done for a few years now and it is truly a marker of the season for me. I am going to do a little Everlane fall haul, showing you some of their new pieces, some pieces that I've actually owned for years that are back this year. Just all the cozy fun knits. Oh my gosh, I'm truly thrilled about it. I am getting to work with Everlane on this video, meaning that everything you see in this video, I will be able to link down below. And those links actually do help to support my channel as well, which I'm so grateful for. And I actually met a sweet subscriber uh, in New York and she told me I found your channel I think three years ago from an Everlane fall haul and that was the day that I found out I got to do this video and I was like guess what I just found out I get to do again this year <laughs> she was really excited I am going to do the classic little haul style video I got some really fun beautiful things we're gonna look at them here and then I will show you the way they fit so that you can see everything move in real time let's get into it First things first, I already showed this one to my family on FaceTime because this is something I've really loved this season is that chore jacket kind of lines and chore jacket pockets are really coming back this year. And this is a knit chore jacket. This actually, I couldn't decide on the color I wanted. I got it in black, but it comes in like a cream and a khaki also. I really like the khaki as well. But it's fun because it's kind of like cardigan style with the buttons down the front and the fact that it's a knit but then you can wear it open like a chore jacket. It has the collar and it has the square front pockets that I adore. So let's see how it fits. Okay, I really love this so very much. Yet again, here's how it looks open. These pockets, something about square front pockets just have my heart right now. I found a few vintage things with these same pockets and literally bought it for the pockets. I must be really into it right now. I love that this kind of comes to a little angle at the top. This is what it looks worn open with a tank underneath, or if you'd like to wear it more like a closed sweater, here's what this one looks like as well. I'm gonna be living in this. I already know it. <laughs> okay, next, this to me is an essential layering piece for fall and for winter. I have this in a couple colors from years past and I wear them all the time by themselves or layered under knits as well. This is the Pima Micro Rib Turtleneck. This price point's really good and it's just such a nice lightweight ribbed turtleneck. Um, it's fitted, it's comfortable, it's breathable, and so that's why I like it for a layering piece. And something more unique is it has this seam that runs down the middle of the back of the shirt. So like I said, love to wear this as like a chic look with, you know, layer some chains on top of it, wear your hair in a low bun, and that is a look in itself. So I'll show you that by itself, but then I'll show you how I love to layer it. I feel like something about just a plain black turtleneck is very like 80s model off duty. like. You'd have your hair, uh, a black and white photo. I don't know, something timeless about a black turtleneck, but very lightweight, incredibly stretchy. Here's what it looks like, just tucked into some jeans. Yet again, a vibe on its own. Um, you could wear it very easily, layer some necklaces on top of it, but really excited to show you how to layer it. The way I always layer my turtleneck is with this one piece. I think that this piece is the most identifiable to my personality. It's like I have heavily associated myself with this exact sweater because a couple years ago, I got it in two colors. Last year, I got it in another three colors because I was so excited that they brought it back and it sold out so fast. And this year they brought it back again and I had never seen it in this kind of like heathered navy color. This is the merino wool half zip and it looks so cute by itself. It looks so cute layered with the turtleneck. I even recently did a little fall lookbook and I layered this with the turtleneck and like a plaid skirt. I'll insert a picture of it here so you can see the way that looked, but that was just like one of my favorite looks of all time. So this is how this looks layered with the turtleneck. Every year, this doesn't disappoint. This half zip is just effortlessly cool, timeless. Looks so great layered is perfect even if you're wearing a tank underneath it's just something to throw on if the evenings get cold i have never done the black turtleneck with like a kind of heathered blue version of this over it and this kind of gives me ski lodge vibes which is very fun and very easy to take into winter in my opinion but still 
amazing for fall as well. And then I'll show you these pants in the mirror. This isn't technically part of this video. These are just the pants that I've been living in. And I wanted to do like the black on black look for this look. These are the barrel pants. And I now have bought them for myself in four colors because they're the only pants that are like incredibly stretchy <laughs> and that I don't need a belt for as well. I get them in the tall length. I'm five foot seven. Um, and I size down two sizes and they are my favorite thing ever. I have them in black mustard rust and like a charcoal gray situation. Back to the point at hand, seriously, probably one of my favorite things I've bought over the years, wear it all the time, wear it all the time. If you watch my vlog, you see it very frequently. <laughs> Next, I'm really excited for this because I realized a lot of my cardigans are long line, but they just came out with this cropped alpaca cardigan. And I feel like that's going to be so flattering with high waisted pants. And also I love all of the colors and I just am really excited about the color of this knit. Um, yet again, just like a casual button up cardigan. You can wear it open, you can wear it closed, but I'm just really excited about the color and the length of the crop of this. So I'm excited to see how this looks. She's too stunned to speak. <laughs> this is everything I hope for. This is very casual yet again, effortless. That is how I would describe so many things from Everlane is like effortless, timeless, chic, but with like something elevated. And that is, that is this in a nutshell. I first want to try it open with this little like tank underneath just to see what it would look like more kind of cardigan style. I like it a lot, but I honestly kind of feel like something like this. I'd probably wear buttoned and it just kisses the top of my pants at such a perfect flattering length. It kind of accents my waist a little bit. I love the fact it's a V because in fall, we don't need to be as completely bundled up as we do in winter. And it gives a little opportunity to do some play with the jewelry. I love the little ribbing along the sleeves. It's like a very wide ribbing just along the wrist. Yet again, something a little bit elevated. I feel like I'm going to be living in this. I feel like I've also said that for everything I've ever tried on from Everlane. This is just it. This is it. This is it. Let's try some denim. I wanted more wide leg jeans. Um, so this is the way high jean. I have this in like a normal denim color and I love the way it fits. It's a very wide leg all the way down, but the rise of this is, I wonder if I can figure out how high this rise is for you. It's like one of the higher rise pants that I own. So I wanted to try it in black and I thought this was fun because it has like a little raw edge hem at the bottom and could be really fun paired with some boots. So let's see, let's see how these fit. These are even more comfortable than my just denim pair. I don't know why I feel like there's extra stretch, but look at that rise. Is that not here? I can show you with just the tank also so that you can fully see how this hits. It is really so flattering. The length on me is slightly cropped, very slightly. I'm five seven, but I have a very short torso. <laughs> so I have probably the equivalent of like five foot nine girl legs. Um, so I feel like this could be a very happy middle length for a, a variety of heights. For my pear shaped girlies, I would maybe size down one more size so that it has a little more fit on the waist because it seems to be a little bit more of a straight cut, but there's a lot of stretch. So I think if I size down once more, it would fit my waist perfect, but still feel comfortable on my hips since it is a very, very stretchy material. Those are just my thoughts, but I like them a lot. Can I show you these boots? I am so excited about these. I couldn't decide if I wanted to get these in like a more shiny black leather or in this kind of suede material. I went with suede because I don't have anything like that. These to me are perfect. They have a little bit of a lift of the heel. I love the stitching around the toe. They feel casual enough to wear all day, but they also feel like they could be dressed up. You could pair it with like a dress and some like little ruffle socks. I feel like they're very versatile. Great for a kind of fall capsule wardrobe scenario. Let's see how they look on. I got some close-up shots of the boots, but I just wanted to show you these in the mirror as well. But I love the fit. They're so comfortable. The square toe I feel like is really in, but it's kind of a round square toe. So that makes it feel a subtle, understated, comfortable. And then the heel is not too high to where it feels like I could walk in these for quite a while and be comfortable in them as well. 
Something that's been on my list is a collared Oxford shirt. I feel like that is timeless. I've been getting more into kind of Parisian style lately and I feel like you see that repeated quite a bit. And then Everlane came out with this. This is the boxy Oxford and I like it a lot because it has slightly dropped shoulders and these kind of more like boxy pockets and a more boxy shape. I guess boxy is the only word to like properly describe this. It's made out of cotton but the cotton almost feels denim adjacent but very lightweight and soft so I feel like it gives it a good amount of structure and of course this would just be so chic you know worn a little bit open yet again layer some necklaces have fun with that. Also thought though, this could be a great layering piece to do kind of like a sweater vest over it and have the collar stick out. So I kind of want to try styling this a couple ways real quick, if that's okay with you for, for my own sake to figure out how I would best like to wear this piece. But I feel like it's a really good staple piece as well. I first wanted to see this in its full glory, just untucked, casual, nothing going on about it. And I just love it. It is a much more relaxed fit for sure. Um, as you can see, it like doesn't taper in, it just goes straight down, which I think makes it look, yet again, very chic, very fun, something slightly different than the normal Oxford shirts. But something else that's slightly different is there's no button on the collar cuffs, which I think is very fun too, and still allows you to roll it if you'd like, if that is more your vibe. But I have it just slightly unbuttoned with a gold chain underneath, and I feel like it's very cool. I feel like the, the look, what the kiddos are doing, is tucking in just one half of the shirt. I'm gonna button it up one higher. This is what people do to say, look, see, here are my pants underneath. You can still see them a little bit, but I want the fun oversized look of a shirt. And I actually do think that that is a really fun way to do it. The little side slit allows you to do this kind of like half front tuck style, and that makes it very fun. And then just as a quick little styling challenge, I wanted to see what this would look like with a sweater vest over it. It is very fun. Um, this is just an old sweater vest I have, and um, it is, it's fun to layer. So in case you're wondering, that's, that's what that would look like. I saw this and I fell in love because it's so casual, but very unique and fun. This is a sweatshirt, but it's a turtleneck sweatshirt. It's like sweatshirt material. Yet again, you got that really cool dropped shoulder, but then it has the turtleneck material over top. And I just feel like this would be the ideal thing to wear with like leggings on the days that you're kind of active, you're running errands, but you want to be like chill, cool girl, like understated girl. You know what I mean? It's a vibe. Like run to the coffee shop real quick before you go run your couple errands and people are like, she's chill, cool girl. Also just something to throw on maybe after a workout class in the fall where you want to yet again, go out and do a couple things afterward. It's just really subtly unique and I'm really excited about that. Yet again, love the kind of heathered gray and the material is incredibly soft. That's what the inside of that looks like. Let's see how it looks. This is so fun. Just the, you never see this cut in this material. It's when you combine those two together, it's like that is different and I like it. So this is how this looks. I'm wearing it with jeans, but I also think it would be so cute with leggings. It really would just be a great little cover up. You go to your workout class and your leggings and your sports bra. It's chilly outside. You show up in this, you pop it off, you do your class, you throw this back on, you go grab a coffee with some friends after. That's like a perfect Saturday morning. Um, I kind of want to find a clip. I feel like turtlenecky things like this just always like so fun with the little clip situation because it shows off the neckline. I like this one a lot. Last but not least, I'm challenging myself to step out of my comfort zone a little bit with a bold color. <laughs> I clearly love my earth tones and my neutrals, but this is a shirt that I had last year and I still have it in white and it's like a ribbed polo. And this year I saw it in this color and I thought, why the heck not try it? This like vibrant blue could be very fun yet again could be great like layered under a jacket and just have it be like a pop color underneath something fun um and it's an incredibly soft material i wear the white one that i have all the time and it's very comfortable the little zipper down the front gives it something unique so let's see how we feel about this this bold blue <laughs> okay you know what I think I'm into the bold blue. I love the collar and the zip on this. I do think it's kind of 70s-esque. The collar comes to a little bit of a point, which I feel like happened a lot in that era. Um, and I think it looks really good tucked. It's just a very comfortable, lightweight, stretchy, breathable type top. So it's great for layering. 
I kind of want to see, ignore the fact I'm wearing black pants, I kind of want to see what it looks like layered with a jacket. This I got last year from Everlane. Wonder if they're bringing it back. I'll check. But this is like their jacket. Let's see how this looks. It's kind of a fun little pop of color underneath yet another neutral. I want to know y'all's thoughts on this one. So comment down below what you think of the bold blue if you think I can pull it off. Um, I think it's fun to mix up my normal color palette that I tend to gravitate to. So fun! Thank y'all for clicking on this video. Videos like this are just such a treat for me because they are fun, they are lighthearted. It's just simply fun and um, I get really excited to do them. I get excited to work with brands that I've adored for years. So thank you to Everlane for partnering with me on this video for several years in a row. That is one of my greatest accomplishments in life. <laughs> As I mentioned, I'm gonna have all these pieces linked down below. Um, I'll link them in order so it's easy to figure out which one's which, and those links do help to support my channel, so thank you for using my links to shop if you're gonna do that. And I love y'all. If there's any other kind of fun fall-themed videos that you'd like to see in the near future, love to hear your suggestions. They're always really helpful for me to have on hand, so feel free to comment those down below. But otherwise, I hope you have the best rest of your day, and I will see you in another video very soon. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?